Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to THD Online TV, live from Manja Ekunda. And um, we are back with the GAM Celebrity Step Up Show here, uh, presented to you every Saturday. We look at the life of GAM celebrities, um, artists. We do bring them here to tell us their stories, uh, developments about them. Today we have a big guest. I know the name has been in GAM music for many, many years. Uh, those who follow in GAM music will know who we're talking about later on the show. But hey, this is a new TV. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Go look at that, page, that video. Subscribe. Give us your comment. Tell us what you like and what you dislike. We'll try to improve because we are here for you. So back to the show. Gentlemen, welcome to yeah. THD. Yeah, I'm saying... Um so that's for THD, your boy Viper, I'm here. Well, Viper, yeah. you know, this name, Viper, has been yeah. in the gun, uh, music industry for a long well, time. Well, but well, who's, well, who's Viper? Well, I'm with Viper, you know what I'm saying? Um, live from Pipeline, hometown, Basset, you know what I'm saying? The artist behind Skinny Boy Fly, New Lord, then you know them. You, you name it, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, I'm in the building. Skinny Boy Fly, this yeah. is then, you know, I recall this star. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was a reading that came some years yeah, ago, man. you know. Yeah, this man. was yeah, a part man. of the popular yeah. song there. Yeah. But, you know, he came from Basi and I also come yeah, from Basi. You see the sort of thing. You have something unique. I'm saying country boys. How do, you, how do you start, you know? Yeah, yeah, how do you start, in, you yeah, know, with your yeah, music yeah, career? Yeah. It, it all started um, by just love. It didn't start like, you know, like, come, like I was trying to get money or fame out of it i just loved hip-hop you understand and then you know listening to it went from listening to it to trying to write it uh -huh. freestyles and then you know me and my friends then we are like you know we should get in the studio do something together that's how we did our first song and then from there on you know one thing led, led to another thing freestyles most of the yeah. time young men do it at <laughs> school level yeah, so yeah. when do you start do you start at school yeah, high school, man. High it school. All, yeah, it all started in high school. So tell us your educational background, because yeah, writing yeah. music is a big thing to yeah, do. Yeah, Not yeah. everyone can yeah, do that. Yeah. So uh, tell us a bit about how you started writing up some music. Yeah. How, you know, yeah. It's very challenging, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my educational background, I'm, uh, um, I did, did up to grade 12, graduated, and then did marketing. And also, I did nursing too, by the way. Wow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I'm writing songs. I think that's, that's just a gift. And then um, repetition, like when you keep doing something over and over and over and over, you get better at it. Yeah. Marketing, nursing, yeah. is yeah. all, yeah. you know, very noble professions. Yeah. But you yeah. end up choosing something that you spotted yeah. your you know, potential yeah. very early. Yeah. Why do you get into, into music instead of getting back to this yeah. uh, two thing that you've mentioned? Yeah, I mean, I love music more than any other thing in my life. So I'm, it's only right. I'm, I follow what makes me happier. You know yeah. I'm saying, like, I can do other things. And if I'm broke doing other things, I would be sad. You understand. But if I'm broke doing what I love, I'm still happy. Viper has been along a yeah. long time, you know? Yeah. Since that you get into the music yeah. industry very early. Yeah, man, just 16 years, man. How was the journey <laughs> like? Very rough. Yeah. I'm you have to survive in gun music. <laughs> you have to be very strong. Yeah, you got to So tell us strong. those challenges, yeah, man. Yeah, you, you got to be strong. When we started, there was nothing like gambit music on, on, on radio or TV. Yeah. So we have to push and push. Shout outs to people like um, Wagan and Wagan. X Miles. A legend. Yeah, yeah, the open yeah, mic. Miles, yeah. Open mic, yeah. We started this. Shout out to all of them, my yeah, work, and they've yeah. been very contributing, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, we started this, um, the whole thing together, and then, you know, we kept on pushing. We went from having little shows at halls, free open mics, to taking the open mic to the stadium, and then having every Gambian radio station now playing Gambian music. Now, you look at every Gambian mobile, there's a Gambian music in it. Wow. You now I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's been a long road, a tough one, but we're here. Now, you know, Leggy, you can see individual artists going to the stadium and doing shows. So, you know, we're moving. How do you... How it's, do not, you it's not really fast, yeah. but we're moving. How do you describe the contribution of this, you know, um, these shows that was you know, organized by Wagan yeah. and X-Mars, you know, you know, does it help yeah. promoting Gambian music to where yeah, it yeah. is today? Yeah, it's, it's the pillar. Boy. I mean, open mic is the pillar of Gambian music. It's the foundation. I mean, without open mic, it would have been way more difficult. Open mic came through and they were just 100% selling Gambian music to the public because... Gambians were not consuming Gambian music, so without Hamga, it all started with open mic. Legendary, they are the pillar, they are the foundation. You cannot take them out. 
Yeah. Well, uh, today let us heal something because you know we we're gonna talk it's about big. something very yeah. important. You know, you yeah. are about to you know launch yeah. an album, yeah. Yeah. and you are product of that open mic. You yeah. know, yeah. you know, definitely. That, that, definitely. That's, a, that's, a, that's a big thing to you know to yeah. celebrate. Yeah. Well, let's still stay in gun music. You know, yeah. open mic. You know, has yield a lot of you know result for Gambian yeah. music. Positive. You know, today we are going to yeah. talk about something very important about your life yeah. and your, for your fans, yeah. Yeah. you know, for the music industry. Yeah. You know, you're about to launch, uh, you know, an album, which we are going to talk about. A very hard, you know, yeah. work that and put in that album. But let's still stay in Gam music, you know. A lot of challenging times for upcoming artists. How do you survive that? Well, you got to keep pushing. Well, like, for me, the mentality I have is, like, I cannot blame anybody for failing or making it in life every every the, the um the whole responsibility lies on myself you understand people might not support you but it's not an excuse not to keep pushing because at, at the end of the day it's your dream it's your life it's your job to yeah. believe in yourself even when nobody believes in you so we kept pushing you understand and we did whatever was necessary we had our i got my side hustles and whatsoever to make sure I, I kept moving because I because the vision is there that one day we will get there. And today, I mean, people are seeing it, like actually Gambian music is getting there. Gambian artists are buying cars of music, yeah. buying houses of music. 10 years ago, you wouldn't even, Hamga, it's like nearly. You never dream of that. Yeah, you know, and now, you know, parents wouldn't, don't feel really that bad if their kids want to do music. So it's, you know. Yeah, because they're doing good in the yeah, society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a slow process, but, you know, surely. We get in there. What would have happened the time you started <laughs> with this opportunity we have today, the social media, Man, everything? What would social, have happened at the time, though? Yeah, it would have been big. It would have been big. When we started, um, a lot of people were not consuming it. Today, all the kids in the schools are consuming gambling music, so the market is way bigger and it's, and still in the younger ones, so the future is looking way more bright. Since that the competition now goes to release an album, we have seen that many yeah. artists in the Gambia yeah. coming with some brilliant performance, some brilliant you know work you know yeah. produced to their fans you know to the world. And your gum gum, mm. you know the world even gum gum. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, man. You got a lot of things. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But it describes the whole situation, man. What I'm going through, what the Gambia is going through, what the industry is going to. Only fate can keep you moving, so you know. What I'm going through that yeah. sounds very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Can you give us a tip of what you're going you know what I'm through? Saying? I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot. Now, I'm saying, um, certain stuff are personal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Afraid, you we, know we I'm leave the personals yeah, alone, yeah. you know, so, so yeah. social issues yeah, that I'm you saying. believe you know, you saying. have a part to play. I, here. You, you know, I'm saying, I mean, I, I feel like, for example, still artists are yet to be united as one so we can keep moving faster. Promoters still pick and choose who to promote what and who not to promote, and companies are still way lagging behind. And, and I feel like some fans would just support one or two artists instead of supporting the whole industry. Mm -hmm. These are some of the problems every artist faces. But others will say artists and, and then the mm -hmm. government too yeah. is still not taking us the way it should take yeah. us seriously. Too, you understand? We still don't have royalties of radios. It's it's just you know just stuff that. Uh, you are a young man, you know, yeah. youth, they always say that the cream of a nation, yeah. you know. But as we'll also say, you know, it yeah. depends on how athletes manage themselves, yeah. because that is where we're having so many issues with, you know, mm -hmm. Gambian artists. I, do you buy that idea that, you know, some of the issues are because artists also don't put themselves in order? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what are you doing now? Let's talk about the Gum Gum. Yeah. What is in that album? Yo, 15 tracks, and it's, it's my best piece of work to date. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to J Life Music, shout out to Believe in One, What Now Music, Momla Music, all the producers that that have contributed to the project. Yeah. Ah, you've been you've been working for long, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. And, yeah, uh, yeah, man. Talking about the time you just mentioned with yeah. the wagon and the X Miles. Yeah, today yeah. you about to launch yeah, yeah. an album. Is this the first yeah. album you launching? It's the debut album. The it's first. the debut album. Come yeah. on, fifteen tracks. <laughs> fifteen tracks. How do you get to that, man? Man, I mean, I've been working on a lot of songs for three years. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And we actually wanted to have like nine songs on the on the whole album, but then again, I'm got, it's... Keeps coming. You know, yeah, like we had the catalog is too long and it's like it, it became very difficult to just keep nine songs on it. So we ended up with 15 songs. The yeah. demand keep rising, you know. Gambian, you know, Gambian fans now, especially music fans, <laughs> yeah. they are not taking anything less, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. What is, the, what is the reason to that? We've seen artists now going to the stadium, lock yeah. up the stadium. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you yeah. know, many are also preparing behind the scenes yeah, yeah, to lock yeah, up the stadium. Yeah, yeah. What is the what is uh, it uh, being behind? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just everybody wants to push the limit. 
you know what I'm saying? And I guess some people just want to go to the stadium. That's their, that's, that's their dream. Dream. Hunger. But for me, you know, we, we're trying to break the borders. I think it should be bigger than the stadium, man. Yeah. That's just a stepping stone, man. Yeah, Hamga, going international is the most important thing. Exporting our music is the one thing that we can actually make a lot of money off, Hamga, because of population gang, baby. It's, well. The population is not really that big. So, you know, we, if we really have to do good, we have to be able to make music that we can also export. You know, like Jamaica is a small country like Gambia. Their population is, is not that big, yeah. but they make a lot of money off international sales. Yeah. So, you know, as Gambia too, we should be working towards trying to make international sales. Yeah. There are songs that you, you know, been working for, we, you know, yeah. almost for three years. Yeah. But tell us, it's very difficult to yeah. produce music. Yeah. But, you know, um, but, you know, how one do you step cope with that, with, you know, looking at the mm. social life of artists, mm. you know, sometimes you need your privacy, but, you know, your, art, your fans will not let you go. They'll always want to know what you're up to. How do you manage to get into this, you know, work behind the scene, yeah. come up with 15 songs, you know, without, you know, push it back? Yeah, man. I mean, there's a price to everything. You know, it comes with it. So sometimes you don't have privacy, but that's part of it. Um, you know, I do most of my songs when I'm at home. That's when I write sometimes inside the car. You wow. know, you, you, you still have to learn how to maneuver around. Well, yeah. there's something that always catch your attention in an album. Yeah. And I believe, you know, when people talk about Viber, they just think about the old days when, yeah. you know, <laughs> rhythm used to be, you know, just like a, a you know, a book, a holy book for you. <laughs> so uh, what is that song that you looking forward to kill the music industry? All the songs are hot. You know, like you can never tell which song is a, is a, is a, a banger until the public starts to consume it. Then, then you can sing I Doga Hamna like, yeah. okay, this song and this song is having a lot of, you know, streams that you get to know, okay, these are the songs that are really doing well outside there. Sometimes, because you, you can work on a song so hard and think that's the best song, and then, you know, you put it out, yeah. it doesn't have the reception that you think, oh, yeah. and then there's a song that you don't even work hard on, and you put it out, and everybody goes crazy about yeah. it. You can't predict, yeah, you can't predict the fun, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's un like? unpredictable. Unless when it goes out, that's when you can tell, okay, these are the ones that are doing really well out there. But what, what you can do is, from my experience of songs that I've been putting out that I have been doing well, you can have a formula and then in, when it comes to creating songs. But then it does not necessarily mean, even if you stick to the formula, that if you put that particular song out, it will do great. You know, at the end of the day, you know, what will you say, you know, keep you this long? I mean, I just personally felt, felt like come... I wasn't in the space to release anything as an album. That's the only reason. Wow. I just felt like, you, you know what, uh, I'm going to get to an album in the future. So I just kept on dropping mixtapes and EPs, mixtapes and EPs, and then singles. And then finally I was like, you know what, we're going to do an album. And that's... It's about... Uh, you know, a lot of people think, as an artist, you have to drop an album every year. No, yeah. as an artist, it's art. Nothing defines art. Art defines itself, and, oh, then, yeah. and the artist defines whatever space they are in. If I'm not in the space for an album, I'm not in the space for an album. You cannot dictate an artist, then it's, it's no longer his paint picture. Oh, you are he, the target. He, you know, he, he draws what he wants yeah. at, when he wants, when the inspiration is there, yeah. or when, at, at the time he feels comfortable at, yeah. Okay, so when, when, do you, when do you plan for the grand launching of the album? Yeah, June 4th. June, June, June 4th. 4th is the grand launching yeah, for the album. Yeah. All of this out there for people it's to go and there. consume. Yeah, 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 and go and yeah, consume. Yeah. So how are you feeling the reaction from the general public yeah. so far? Because I know you must yeah. be following yeah. how people look at this album yeah, yeah, and how yeah. people are responding to yeah. it. So a, lot, so far, uh, a lot of respect, man. Lot of respect. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're feeling the album like crazy, man. I'm, uh, and I was, a lot of people that, that, that have been like, um, oh, we haven't heard from him. Everybody's like, yo, this is dope. Like, mm -hmm. It's like, yo, we, you were walking, my G. Yeah. So it seems like, you know, now your fans can realize that, come on, this guy has been walking a lot behind the scene, right? Eh? Yeah, man. So how, how does that make you feel when you go out there, you know, you have released Benichin being a year ago now, you know, everybody's talking about, you know, oh, he was quiet, but there's something big was coming. Yeah, yeah. So does that yeah. encourage you more? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't actually like literally quiet because every year I was dropping videos and wow. singles mixtapes kept kept coming out projects kept coming out but we didn't do a major show for like three three years 
because of um, the corona and what's yeah. a lot of the stuff was going on. So finally, we about to do a major show, and then we are doing the media tour too. I haven't done media tour for three years too. Wow! So, you so know you've been away from the media for almost yeah, three years. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> well, I, so today you're yeah, yeah. You're, so, you know, THD today. Yeah, man. So we, were, I was just doing the videos, dropping the songs and the projects, but I wasn't doing no media tour. I was waiting for the album to do the media tour. You How know. do you make money? No, I'm saying. In the industry that, you know, you just talked about the challenges yeah, yeah. here. How do you make money? We make money off the industry. I mean, people don't even know this. Like, artists actually make more money than the, the, the nurse or a lot of civil servants in this country. You know what I'm saying? Artists get paid, yeah. pass by shows, let's say 5,000 pass by shows every weekend. Artists clock some close to like 15,000 every weekend. Now, times that by four. You understand? Yeah. It's not much, but we make it more than the average Gambian um, salary worker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the bigger artists are doing way more than that. The bigger artists are clocking like 40,000 per weekend. You get Fridays, Saturdays, every Sorry. Friday, Saturday, there's a show that you're headlining. You get paid for 20,000, 25,000. You understand? So, you know, it's, it's, artists are making money, but then again, the, the, the art the demands so much money, you know, now I'm saying, videos are expensive, you know, tr songs are expensive, you know, but, you know, whatever you make from the art, you put it right back into the music, and then you have, we have our side hustles too, Yeah. because to be an artist, also, you have to be an entrepreneur, oh, yeah. an, an, an entrepreneur, so, you know, yeah, we got that too going on, on the side. What do you yeah. do out of love music? Yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> Robert, Robert. that's private, man. <laughs> we keep it private. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know. you know, we make money off the streets too. You know what wow. I'm saying? But we keep it private. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> life, li you know, life outside there. When you go out, you know, sometimes, yeah. you know, artists do have some issues with their outside life. You know how they manage themselves. Mm -hmm. um, you've been there for long, and you've passed through the hands of you know legends in yeah. music. Yeah. And uh, is your management well in place in terms of? You know, protecting you for mm. going negative on the on the art line, media yeah, line. I mean, we, we we do our best. <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> and I'm saying so certain things you cannot control. Certain things you can control, and whatever I can control, I try to control it as best as we can as a team. We'll take a short break when we come, and yeah. uh, we know we continue with the discussion. You are live on, you know, Step of Gum Celebrity So on THD Align TV. Like I said, subscribe, like, comments. And do follow our videos and share our videos. Uh, today we are with a star uh, in his own way. He has been, you know, working behind the scene. Uh, the album has been released. Go there, patronize him. You know, try to show the love so that they continue doing that of things. Yo, step up, gun celebrity show coming to you on THD TV. Real soon, hosted by my man Omaru. Amen. Watch out for that. Gambia. I'm getting knuckle. Your boy, I'm going to fight. Son of Kush Gang. Zip. Zip. So let's talk about, you know, your field. Mm -hmm. You know, like other industries in this country will say that we are moving or we are going back. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you, what do you say about the, you know, music industry in this country? What do you, what, how do you, how do you view it today? Yeah, I mean, we are moving forward, like I said, but, like I said, it's it's slow, but it's good. I'm going from my way. We yeah. came we came from not being played on the radio to be playing on the radio, to we came from literally having like five thousand views. Now we having like two million views wow. on YouTube as gaming artists. So definitely, you can move forward. Yeah. yeah. So you know you know the social media also has played a huge part. You know yeah, that's why yeah, yeah. artists will just walk and release video. But yeah. a lot of videos have been coming. You know from different different artists on mm. different languages mm. you know we've seen now every two three weeks you see a new artist that is amazing mm -hmm. but do you have the special you know pickups or advice that you think you know as a someone who has been working mm. you know write songs what do you think you believe you know should be added in terms of promoting the music to where you want to see it yeah i mean the government has to understand that music like it's it's like a whole area that creates jobs opportunities, changes people's life. I know, I know people that are like real street niggas and music change their life now. They're yeah. into something positive. Hang off my way. Yeah. You now I'm saying they have to put in place the royalties, put in place a special budget and subsidies to, to, to stimulate the art area. You now I'm saying when you, when you talk about 
Like music, like we are ambassadors. Like we have. That's that's how important music is. But you talk about Nigeria, like ten years ago, oh. you just think of all armed robbers, killers. Oh yeah. But today, their music have done so good for them. Now, when you think about Nigeria, you think about more positive things because what music has done yeah. for the image, yeah. and they, that's the same thing music has done it to sell America. Sports have done to sell Brazil and other things. Yes. That's, you know what I'm saying? The government has to realize Gambian music can also sell Gambia out there. And Gambia is a tourist destination. Oh, yeah. So we, it, it can lead to a lot of both African tourists coming here and international tourists. There's a lot that music does for a nation. So if you have yeah. to talk to the government today directly, yeah. you know, you know, you've already spotted some of the important things yeah, that yeah. can, you know, sell the image of a country. Yeah, yeah. What do you think is lacking for Gambia? Because like you said, when you talk about like Nigeria I, today, like, you know, like, like I said, they have to take us seriously. There has to be like subsidies. They have to give us subsidies. They have to give us incentives. They have to make it more. I mean, put in place the royalties um, laws so we can get paid for when radio, TV plays our music. When our album, when our artist is about to put his album out, national art should, should be there to yeah, support yeah. those these events. You know, you know, j just be there for us in a capacity and take us seriously. You know what I'm saying? But they just look at music like it's not hamga. Well, well, you know sometimes people will yeah. say that I'm um, Jibo you know, there's mm. this this unity between the Well it it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't have to it doesn't matter. Artists what your Jibo sir. The government just have to do what is Senligi. Yeah. Don't don't okay because of the new holo so do what the small ruga. Nah. Play your part. Well I mean yeah, like for instance you you are together as one group. Uh, don't you think that make more that add more weight than it, when others are there and others are here? Yeah, it will add more weight, but yeah. it, do, it does not mean that rules and whatsoever that should be done by the government should not be done by the government. Yeah. It's not an excuse for them not to do what they are supposed to do. That's, uh, well, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, looking at Bamba, like we are now deep now, your album is there. Yeah. People are watching. Yeah. You know, what is the expectation going forward? What do you want to see? Because now you have embarked on a media campaign. Mm. You want to get back to the people and tell them what you've been doing before. Mm. And, you know, this is one of them. What will you want to see in, in, in going further? I mean, you know, we just keep pushing, man. Bigger things, you know what I'm saying? Show up on shows and then, you know, just growth. You know what I'm saying? You know, the journey never stops. You know what I'm saying? At, I never stopped at any point. So, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> We're here, man. I love that, man. Yeah. The dream is still going on. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, Gambia's also making European tours now. You've seen that, you know, artists going yeah, for European yeah. tour. Yeah. Is it part I mean, of the it's, plan? It's, it's, it's not, well, definitely that's part of the plan. Um, these are one of the things that I was talking about. It's 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 high time we take it way beyond just yeah. going to the stadium. So, we um, I've seen some of them do um, European tours, but maybe... Just few artists. Just few, yeah. Just yeah, few artists. It's not a common thing yet. So. And most of them have this international connection, that's why. Yeah, yeah, but we still have some Gambians yeah. who can connect you to that. So what about yeah. the promoters and the artists? Yeah, what is the exactly. relationship with yeah, promoters yeah. and artists? Gambian promoters abroad, they would just rather invite Senegalese artists over. So no more problem. So no yeah, you know. Delo of every Yeah, we got Delo Gana. They would just, you know. The same Gambian What is the reason? I don't know. Yes. What is what what do they see that in the Senegalese <laughs> that they don't see in Gambians? Yeah, you know, you yeah, see yeah. Yeah, see Afe being a boka some years well, ago, so you should have known better, isn't it? Yeah, I mean Nyaka Gum Sabova Lare, you know what I'm saying? Not believing in in, in in oneself, that's it. There's nothing else because we like literally they are seeing it that music we are filling up many stadiums, we are filling up stadiums, so they cannot say we don't have an audience. Yeah, yeah. Audience, we have an audience. And the last Gambian tour the, the boys did. All the clubs were sold out, so there's no excuse. So why are you still not taking the boys on tour? So, you know, in short, so the relationship, you know, doesn't matter. You know, already the music of Salah itself, you know. Yeah, yes. um, we're, we're, doing good. we're good. Yeah. And, and once they start taking us on European tours, every year, it will get bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's not, it's about starting it. You know, the whiz kids, they started to go to England doing yeah. small clubs, yeah. but they kept on taking them over and over, and then it started to grow. So eventually well, you have, it will grow. You have, you, have a, like, you have to put in work exactly. for it to grow. Exactly. Yeah. You have a great skill too because you write yeah. and also sing. You know, not many people <laughs> do that, you know. That is unique. Yeah, uh, some people, you know, their music would be you know written by someone yeah, and they just go and sing. So do many Gambians artists, you know, want to work with you uh, because of the quality that you have? Yeah, if yes, yeah, how many? Yeah, man. <laughs> many of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get a lot of calls and texts for that. Yeah. Yeah. 
So how do you deal with that? And you have to do your own thing. You have to produce your own. Yeah. Uh, there are other artists who want to come there. You know, yeah. it's it's not a big deal. If I if I'm impressed by a work, we can work. Now, so this this is what I do, man. Like I'm in the studio like almost every day. So it's cool. It's part of the job. Yeah. So what is your future target? You know, now you have released yeah. your debut album, yeah. and now others will say that maybe you have kick walk. Yeah. Kick off with work since you yeah. know the releasing of that album. So yeah, yeah. we we pushing on the album, promote it to the fullest, and then you know we work on the next one, next year, inshallah. We do we do bigger venues, and you know yeah try to. That was the spirit behind the team. That's you know it's behind you. Yeah man, um, shout out to the whole team. Shout out to Kush Gang, that's the familiar man. They've been you know what I'm saying they've been very supportive with the whole project, with me as an artist and everything else, man. Yeah man, gang. And the, the the legends are they still behind you know yeah, man, the, the steps? Man, even even Wagan would call me the other time, just you know, wishing me best of luck. So they are still supporting the music. Yeah. Open mic, you know, I only want to see it going further because you know what does I say now? You know, there must be many features you know attached to the open mic that comes with the support. You know, promoters coming and bringing big people to come and see. You know what we can do with the open mic. How will you want to see it going further? Because you've seen when it started and how it is today. Yeah, I'm. Um, you would have to ask Wagan or x -Miles, but I think they said um, they are, the open mic series is done. Yeah, we didn't have open mic last year and this year too. I don't think there'll be any open mic. There'll be any, oh, and how will that disturb Gambian music? Because, you know, most of these young stars now will always perform just to go to the open mic. That's yeah. where the world will see you. That's where Gambian see you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the music has got to a point that, I mean, with or without open mic, artists are going to blow. Yeah. Shows are going to get sold out. You understand? Um, but them being part of the music would have helped a lot more. It, the New Yorker, it would yeah. add weight to the music. So definitely, yeah, they are still needed and relevant, but you'll have to talk to them, you know yeah. what I'm saying? About we'll, we'll, we'll find <laughs> out, because the open mic has played yeah, a huge yeah, part. Yeah, definitely. You know, in, in, yeah. But how, how will festival, a musical festival in a year do, what will that do for Gambian music? For instance, you have a very big festival yeah. where not only Gambian artists, just like other country does, you yeah. know, invited big artists and come. Yeah. What will that do for Gambian music, even yeah. though we are moving to another level? Yeah. I mean, anything musical, I mean, festivals, concerts, you know, I mean, it brings people together, brings cultures yeah. together, brings ideas together, promoters together. So anything that brings people together is good. So Nyata Song, um, before the, the grand launching, how many shows are you planning for? The you know, going yeah. out, you know, to the Gambia. Yeah. You know, the other part of the Gambia where you're from, we want yeah. to see you perform on yeah. stage. Yeah. See uh, after the album. After the album. Yeah, sure. So you want to do after the, the concert. After sure. the concert. Yeah. So after the general concert, then yeah. you start the, the yeah, nation tour. That. Yeah. Well, that has been a viable for you, then very amazing and, uh, you know, dedicated young man in the GAM music. Yeah. Um, the, all you need to do is to go and support them. Like they said, you know, they can do better, you know. The all need is the, you know, support. Mm -hmm. Come and tell them, you know, you, we, we are behind you. You know, they're going to take Gambian music to another level, you know. So it's been Step Up Gam Celebrity Show on THD Online TV. Join us next week. We'll be here with a Gambian, um, you know, to tell you how he started and where he is today. So this, one, this might not be the last with Viper. We definitely, want to meet him again. Definitely. And talk about, you know, how the definitely. album... Hitting, yeah. you know, town. So, Definitely. you know, about future plans again. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Like. Share our videos and send us your comments. We want to know what you feel about our videos. Definitely. Thank you. I've been the host, Haji Drami. Kush Yeah? <laughs> Good, luck. Good luck. Good yeah. luck.